Hey, it's Chris Callan here, masteryourmoneynow.com.au, helping you take control of your finances from the comfort of your own home. And one of the things I wanna to talk to you about today in this Whiteboard Wednesday is salary sacrifice. What what is salary sacrifice? How we should be doing it? What should we be uh, walking out for? That's what we'll be talking about in this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Before we get into that, I wanna ask you a question. Who likes dealing with Centrelink? Answer, probably no one. So what, what, we, how, what sort of benefit would that be to you if you've never had to deal with Centrelink again? Just putting it out there, because that's something that we deal with a lot of our gold and platinum clients, is making sure we can structure things so we actually do a lot of the work with Centrelink on their behalf, which is a great benefit. So it means no waiting on the queue, in queues, no waiting an hour on the telephone. We can actually look at a lot of their Centrelink side of things and provide the updates and do the applications and do a lot of that stuff on their behalf. And that's included in our gold and platinum package. If that's something that's of interest to you and want to find out more information, go to masteryourmoneynow.com.au forward slash get started, book in your free 30 minute consultation and we can have a bit more chat about your circumstances, not just Centrelink if that's something that's important to you, but also various other things when it comes to your financial situation, okay? So salary sacrifice, what is it? So salary sacrifice is sacrificing a portion of your wage into superannuation. Now, I stress the word superannuation because I know in particular industries, particularly the medical fields like doctors and nurses, salary sacrifice actually means uh, putting money into a mortgage or something like that. That's not what we're gonna be discussing today. That's actually known as salary packaging, which is a completely different thing. What we're gonna be talking about here is salary sacrificing into superannuation, okay? So what's the benefit of salary sacrificing into superannuation? And ultimately, it's actually a tax thing. So with any pre-tax contribution to super, that is only taxed at 15%, okay? Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, let's quickly go through, to want us to understand the benefit of that, let's talk about your marginal tax rackets, what you actually earn in your personal name and what tax that you actually pay. So, when it, so the first 20,000 that you earn is taxed, whoops, it's tax free, okay? These are, these are rough numbers, uh, but at least this gives you a bit of an idea. From 20,000 to about 37,000, this is taxed at, whoops, 19%. I've got it right there. Okay, so 20 to 37,000 is about 19%. From 37 to about 87,000, it's 34%. From 87,000 to 180,000, it's 39%. And 180,000 dollars and above is taxed at 49%. Okay, makes sense. So here's the thing, let's just use $1,000, just as an example. Let's say you get a bonus or a salary or something like that and you receive $1,000. You've got two options when it comes to your, how you take that salary. You can decide to take it as normal salary and gets paid into your bank account. What that means is that $1,000 is gonna be taxed at your marginal tax bracket as shown here and then it gets paid into your bank account. So say, for example, if you earn $100,000 a year you, and you took this as salary, this is taxed at 39% if you earn 100,000, whoops, one, zero, zero, okay. Which means that in your bank account, you're gonna get $610 in the bank. Okay, because $1,000 less 39% in tax comes to $610 that gets paid into your bank account. The second option that you've got is you can actually direct it towards superannuation, which is taxed at only 15%, which means that there's going to be $850 that is going to be paid into your super account. So automatically by salary sacrificing this $1,000, you are saving $240 in tax saved, okay? So for every dollar that you put in your super in this scenario, for someone's earning 100 grand, that's t it's, you get a 24% tax benefit by salary sacrificing into superannuation. 
Now, before we start putting all your money into superannuation, there's a few things you've got to be mindful of. Particularly, there's limits in regards to how much you can put into superannuation. There's also the fact you can now access your superannuation to your satisfied condition of release, which is mainly retirement, which is about age 60 or approaching age 60. And, and yes, it, there's another couple of small things that you've got to be aware of as well. So if you haven't had the discussion, if this is something that is of interest to you, you want to save on tax, go to masteryourmoneynow.com.au forward slash get started, book in your free 30 minute consultation, and you can have a chat with a qualified financial planner who does this on a regular basis, helps people put more into their superannuation and saves money on tax. So this is Chris Carlin, masteryourmoneynow.com.au. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments space below and make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Have a great week.